Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be testing out these two products from Platinum Potions. So what I wanna do is basically dress the plastics on the Mazda CX-5. So using their two products, we have the Nanotech Multi Degrees, their exterior APC, and the Trim Code Plus. So obviously starting off with the degreaser, so I'm gonna be spraying and brushing in this degreaser to clean the plastics on the car and then rinsing it off which is what they have in their directions repeat once more if needed i don't think i will because this car is pretty new i just want to clean the plastics first then i'll drive it back into the garage maybe i'll just do it out there um, and then we want to dress those exterior plastics so yeah what they recommend is actually to after cleaning spray it on, work it in, and allow it to cure for five to 10 minutes and then buff off. But then what they recommend is after that, an hour later, to wash the car. So if I get any excess, which I'm sure I will, because there's a lot of plastics on this car, then when I wash it, I can just wipe that off and level it down. So yeah, this should be a pretty good product. I'm keen to try it out. The plastics on this aren't really, really bad and faded. I just want to get some protection on them. So this actually has 5% SiO2 in the trim coat plus so yeah i'm just because this car for the moment is living outside until we build our carport um i'm going to get some temporary protection on before i go ceramic coating this car so for now i'm going to be testing out this and i'm really keen to see how it does so yeah let's get right into it okay so we're at the front of the car i have the degreaser so it's just to spray it onto the brush i'm just going to start off spraying it onto the plastics a little bit um, I've got my brush here, but holding the camera is going to be a bit hard to spray it onto that. So just give me one sec, I'll try and do that. There we go, a couple of sprays. And we're just going to work that in. Oh, it definitely foams up really nicely. Okay, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Sorry if the angle was really bad there. Um, yeah, look at the foaming up what that's doing nice smell to it as well it's got like a lemony scent i'm just going to spray it onto the plastics now so it's going to be easier while i'm filming so i'll get in around the number plate there this section up in here so yeah, you can see just how nice and easy that is to work with. And then just like that, go ahead and rinse that off. Yeah, nice and clean. Very, very easy to use. Let's come around to the side here, get this section. Decided to go with handheld for this, so sorry for some of the footage is angled really away. A bit shaky, but Yeah, that's really easy to use. You could easily work your way around this car quite quickly. Also gonna be working well up into the guards there, but don't have the right brush for that at the moment. It's gonna get a little bit more sprayed onto this. It's good that we're doing this before washing too, because I do actually want to apply a sealant or a wax to this car today. We'll rinse that off as well. And there we go, 
nice and clean. Spotless. So yeah, just as easy as that. I'm gonna put the camera down and do the rest of the car so then we can dry it off and dress the plastics with our trim coat plus. All right, so we have all the trim cleaned and dry. So I ended up just like rinsing down the entire car because I did want to get some of this trim coat, for example, in here, um, the mirrors, in that top rubber strip up here. So this can be used on plastics and rubbers, this Platinum Potions trim coat. So yeah, but we've got all this cleaned down. I was gonna do it in the guard line as well, but I'm about to wash the car, so I'll probably do those off camera. So I'm gonna use my wheel brushes to get up into the guard lining there. But yeah, so it's all cleaned up pretty well. It's looking pretty good, to be honest, once it was clean. Um, but yeah, it could definitely use some protection. So you can see I put a small little strip of masking tape, just so we can get an idea of how this finishes down, the sort of finish it will give, whether it's too shiny um, or it has a nice sort of natural sheen to it. So yeah, we've put that down. I've got the product here. So it says to work into trim, like spray onto a cloth, work into the trims and then allow to cure for five to 10 minutes, buff off to level out. So rather than using a microfiber cloth to apply, I definitely prefer using these microfiber applicators. Far easier to use rather than having a cloth sort of folded up. So yeah, that's what I will be using. So let's get the product shaken up. Definitely a very, very full bottle. That's what I say with Platinum Potions. They fill these bottles right to the top. So again, hard with one hand uh, to sort of show you guys. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Let's just angle that there. So, put a few sprays onto this. It should be heaps. And then, put the camera back up. Go ahead and work it in. So I do like that we are washing this afterwards. So I don't really need to worry about avoiding the paint because it's just saying that I can just wash the excess off. So that's definitely a bonus for me. So yeah, it goes on really easy. Let's get a little bit more onto this. That is plenty. I'm sure I've probably given too much, but just to avoid having to come back to the bottle spraying more. So yeah, you definitely see I have a lot on there now. So I'm playing a little bit too much, if anything, but just to make it easier to work my way around on camera. So yeah, you can see clear difference where I have applied and where I haven't. gonna make it easy for us to come back and wipe this off in five to ten minutes. It doesn't hurt to go back over, make sure you've got it everywhere. But yeah, there's still plenty left on this applicator, as you can see. really super easy to apply okay guys been about five minutes since we applied the trim coat and just for example that is how much I used when around the whole car as you see this car has a fair amount of exterior plastics so I put a lot on and that's all I've used so this bottle which costs $25 for 500 mils will last you a long time I guess what we'll find out is how long the product lasts on the plastics. So yeah, 
been about five to ten minutes, which they recommend. I'm going to go around and just level it off a little bit. Make sure it finishes nicely. So just gently work my way over. Don't really need to apply any force. Just pick up any excess. Actually see where I missed a spot there. But working the, like leveling it off, we're actually working in the high spots into the sort of low spots, I guess. But yeah, I can definitely see where I missed a few spots because I was kind of rushing. As always, doing this stuff on camera, you're kind of looking at the camera while you're going and it does make it harder to be as thorough. Coming around at the back. All right. There we go. Level down. I think that's enough time to peel the tape back. Make sure it, like you can see, it's clearly not. I'll even put the light on. So, there we go. Even putting the light on it, you can see it's not like super shiny. It basically looks factory. Get this last bit of tape. Okay, so yeah, so I'm on a bit of water or a bit of, it got underneath, but here you can see a clear difference. So it's added like a natural sheen to it. I'm not going to call that a shine. I do have the torch, the light on, so I'll turn that off. So it's just a natural look. There's before, and before I thought it looked pretty good. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Around the sides. It is nice and black, restored. So, I am really happy with that. And yeah, like I said, being that this is our car that I'm applying it to, I'll be able to give you guys an update. So what I'm doing, I don't know, a wash on this in about a month. I don't know, I wasn't going to leave that section. What I might do is just fill in this little tiny bit here and just leave a little spot. So here's what I'm gonna do. There, I'm gonna leave that spot right there, untouched, and we'll see the difference in about a month. Well, there you go guys. Two products tested out. The Multi Degrees and the Trim Coat Plus from Platinum Potions. Both are $24.95 each. So I'll have a link to their website for these two products in the description. Again, everything still that I've tried out from Platinum Potions I've been very impressed with. I really do like the brand and the products these guys are putting out. So definitely check them out if you want to support an Australian detailing company. Um, and yeah, very happy with the finish we got from the trim coat. You wouldn't have to use their own multi degrees for this, but I just figured since I have this here, these are two products that would work together. So I figured let's go ahead and Sort of use them together but if you just want to pick up trim coat and you already have plenty of degrees at home that's fine you don't need to use this one um, but if you don't have anything this one is definitely nice to use i really do like how foamy it gets um, when i put the camera down and i could actually spray into the brush and i did this side of the car over here the driver's side i was getting some crazy amounts of foaming from when i was working into the plastics so definitely when you're using it as directed spray into your brush or whatever you're using um, and it will foam up really, really nicely. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's gonna be a bunch more videos as we 
test out products on this CX-5. This is probably going to be one of the main cars that we test products on for a while. Um, probably going to do a sealant or a wax on it very soon because, yeah, eventually I will polish and coat this car. But for now, we just need some protection on the paint. So, yeah, you will see more of this car in the future. Um, we absolutely love this thing. This is our new daily. So we'll continue using the Evos and our friends, families and people that reach out and want their cars done, this cars as well. But see a lot of this CX-5 on here. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to seeing more of this, more products tested and more videos on the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're not already. But with all that said, until next time, that's this video done and I'll see you guys in the next one.